devs, welcome back to LearnView. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to build a Vue 3 desktop project from a Vite app. To do this, we're going to be using Electron, one of the most popular frameworks for building cross-platform desktop apps with JavaScript. So many popular apps are built with Electron, like VS Code, Slack, Twitch, and a ton more. Let's first take a quick look at what we're going to be doing in this video. So while this is just the Vite starter template, it is in its own dedicated app, not in our browser which is super cool and is really the first step to start building your own desktop applications. All right, let's jump right into the code. First, let's make our Vite app. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about how Vite works, but if you wanna learn more about creating your own Vue project with Vite, check out our YouTube video down in the description. And just to change it up from the Vite template a little bit, let's add a button here to make it more interactive and so that we can see how the console works within an Electron app. All right, let's first try this out just in our browser. So in our terminal, we can just run a plain old npm run dev, get our local host URL, and all right. Here's the Vite starter template, and if we open up the console and click our button, we'll see our log statement being printed. Perfect. Now it's time to actually add Electron into the setup. For this tutorial, we're going to be loosely following the Electron starter guide from their official documentation and tweaking it a little bit to work inside of our Vite application. The first thing we have to do is actually install Electron. So let's head over to our terminal and do that. npm install, save dev, and then electron. And that's it. Next, let's take another look at their documentation. And it says that a simple electron setup needs four main files, a package.json, and also we already have this, a main.js, a preloader.js, and an index.html. So at first, it may seem like we already have a main.js and index.html files, but those are actually the ones we need for Vite and not the ones we need for electron. The Vite files are used to run our Vite app, but in order to create our Electron build, we need separate files. In the Electron files, main.js will actually create the browser window and load in our index.html, which will have our built Vite app. So first things first, we have to actually build our Vite app. And since we're working with Electron once again, we have to do a little bit of extra configuration. Basically, we want to make sure that when our project is built, all the references to the JavaScript and CSS files are pointing to their accurate spots. What does this mean? Building our Vite project creates a dist folder with the following structure. As you can see, there's an index at HTML, and then our assets are inside this assets folder. But since our Electron code is in our root directory, we want to set the base for our entire project to be just this dist folder. And we can do this by setting the base property in our vite.config.js file. So let's open that up. And first we want to import path. And then in here, we can say base and then set it to path.resolve get the current directory, and then include dist. Now back in the terminal, we can just run npm run build to create our own dist folder. Perfect. The next step is to create our main.js file in our root directory. Once it's created, we can just copy and paste the code from the Electron quick start guide and then paste it in. And if you want more information about exactly what each line is doing, that's all written down in the great documentation. But there is one change we're gonna have to make. In this line, when our browser is loading in our index.html file, we actually want to change that to the disk slash index.html file, so we're using the file in our build folder. All right, and that's all for main.js. Next, we have to create our preload.js file in our root directory, and once again, we can use the code from the quick start guide, but this time we don't have to change anything. All right, we're almost there. The last thing we have to do is make some changes to our package.json file so that we can actually run some of our Electron commands. First, we have to set this property called main. By default, Electron will look for an index.js file to start our app, but since our file is called main.js, we just have to define that in our package.json. So let's come in, type main, and set it equal to main.js. And then the final thing we have to change is actually give us a way to run Electron. So inside the script section of our package.json file, let's make a new script. I'll just call it Electron colon start, and it'll run Electron space period. And that's all the code we need to get our app started. All we have to do now is go to our terminal and just say npm run electron colon start, and then bam, we have our app. As you can see, it's the exact same thing that was on the browser, but now it's in a standalone app. So obviously this was just a quick starter guide to get a basic electron setup instead of Vite. But if you want to see more Vite and electron tutorials, leave a like on this video and let me know in the comments down below. Overall, I honestly just love to teach what you guys find interesting. So enough people want a follow-up video, maybe I'll start a series where we can build a large view desktop app together. But until then, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.